Hi guys, it's two o'clock in the morning. I'm bored, so I decided I'm going to do my very first My Little Pony video. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to answer a few questions that I see regularly posted up on um, various Facebook groups I'm on. Uh, so, which one shall I start with? Uh, who's my favourite background pony? Or, should I say, you know, not necessarily a background pony, but, uh, you know, a small part, you know, perhaps they've only appeared in a few episodes. But, I'm going to say, I've got quite a few, but I'm only going to pick one. And that is going to be... Coco Pomel, who I have a plush of. Well, right. Dirty nose. <laughs> I did try and put her on the back of the chair, but she fell off, along with Chrysalis, who has got a mind of her, her own at the moment, down underneath the table here. Anyway, why do I like Coco Pomel? Well, I love her colours. I love her cutie mark. And like I said, I do like her colouring. I do like her little sort of uh, collar with a little... What is that meant to be? Like a little necktie thing? Neckerchief, whatever they call them. And her pretty little flower in the mane. The mane's not exactly like the one in the actual show, but it's pretty close. So, I would have to pick Coco. Oh, and she's got a sweet personality. I love her personality. So, my favourite background pony will say but like I said I've got quite a few I could be here all day listing them all off um, I'm just going to put Coco to the side another question I frequently see asked is who's your favourite villain so again I've got another plushie of my favourite villain down here it's Queen Christmas Yep, covered in fluff because she fell over. <laughs> I'm not sure why though. I do think for a villain she's got very pretty eyes though. And a pretty blue mane. But uh, yeah, other than that I'm not really sure. It could also be that she's actually in um, one of my favourite colours. And yes I know black's not actually a colour. And actually, blue is one of my favourite colours as well, so that could be the reason. <laughs> so, yeah, my favourite villain. Why can I stand Christmas just for the moment? Stand it down there. Hmm. My favourite plushies. Well, so far, you've already seen two. Coco and Chrysalis. And I'm going to say Octavia here is also one of my favourites. She's also one of my favourite background ponies as well. Because I like a little bow tie. I think that's cute. She's got lovely eyes as well. So yeah. You've already seen the other two, along with Octavia here, my favourite three plushies to date. Obviously I plan to add more to the collection, so I'll probably end up with more favourites. Uh, what else do I see frequently asked? Uh, I actually can't think of any now. 
Those are the three main questions that uh, seem to have stuck in my head. Um, how long have you been a brony? That's a common one. Um, I would say four months. What got you into My Little Pony? That's another one that I frequently see asked. I'm guessing it's new members to these groups that just ask the questions. Um, so some of them do get repeated a lot. I don't always answer them. It depends what mood I'm in. Um, what got me into it? Well, started on Netflix. Um... Anyone who's watched my channel long enough will already know that I've already said, you know, one of my favourite things to watch is animated movies and other animations and whatnot. So, um, I'm also a furry. I'm not so active in that fandom these days, but I still consider myself a furry. So, you know, I like anthropomorphic animals and technically My Little Pony falls into that category. Because they are animals that have been given human characteristics, and that is the definition of anthropomorphic. And it doesn't just apply to animals, it can apply to an inanimate object, like the old animated movie, The Little Toaster. You know, where all the um, household appliances had... You know, they could talk and breathe, and they had human intelligence. That's anthropomorphic. And that's the sort of thing I like. I don't know why. Always have done. Ever since I was a wee boy. Um, so, as I was saying, I was just pretty much looking for something to watch on Netflix. And obviously I've known about My Little Pony Friendship is Magic for, well, ever since it was first released years ago. And known about the Brony fandom and whatnot, and uh, so I'm actually surprised it took me this long, to be honest, to um, for one watch it and two decide to be a Brony. Um, so yeah, I just started watching it on Netflix and started watching one episode after the other, and before I knew it, I couldn't stop and had to watch. All four seasons that were on Netflix at the time. They've got five seasons now. Uh, why do I like it? It's just, to me, it's a well laid out show. Um, well thought out. Excellent group of characters. It teaches... In my opinion, some great morals, which I actually think some adults could uh, benefit from paying attention to, but, you know. <laughs> uh, the animation is good. Good quality, I mean. Um... And I'm a sucker for anything cute. Yeah, I do all these manly man things with these bicycles and computers and things, and I love anything cute. I swear I've got a double personality, you know. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm going to leave this video at that. So, uh, as always, feel free to please like the video. And of course, if you didn't like the video, then you can feel free to dislike it. I've always said, it's your decision. You know, it just reflects your view and what you thought of the video. You either like it or you don't, you know. Not everyone's going to like every video that's out there on YouTube, so... I don't expect everyone that watched mine to like them. Anyway, that said, if you haven't subscribed, then please subscribe. It's... Not all of My Little Pony stuff on my channel, there's going to be things, you know, bicycles and computers and maybe the odd bit of Lego, a bit of everything. You know, 
I call the channel Life of an Englishman, so it's my life, such as it is, and you know, I don't really do a lot of anything interesting, but anyway, I'm digressing, so <laughs> thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.